From West Hollywood, California, the only news team that doesn't know what's on the teleprompter before they read it. Anyone who laughs or breaks loses points. This is Breaking News. Hello and welcome to Breaking News, the show where we don't know what we're about to say and we aren't allowed to laugh or smile. I'm Clifford, California. And I'm Homo Simpson. A tanker ship full of soap has run aground in the Puget Sound off the coast of Seattle. The ship, the largest of its kind, ran aground. Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi, Miss Scusi, Miss Scusi. Okay. Miss Scusi, Miss Scusi. Ah, this is my... <laughs> this is my tailor, Luigi no. DiBeppo. I asked him to come in and make custom suits for, him, for everyone. I'm sick of this news team looking like shit. We'll keep the newscast going, though. Miss Goosey. Miss Goosey. The tanker was full of split pea with ham soup, the soup with the largest tastiness to grossness lookingness ratio. <laughs> President Biden has said that split pea soup is his absolute favorite because it's the old timiest of the major soups and that dude is old. So old. I mean, listen, he's obviously better than <laughs> Trump, but we're all clear that he's <laughs> at best care? half dead, right? Miss Scusi. <laughs> Miss Scusi. Miss Scusi. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think he knows what Scusi means. <clears throat> At best, watching Biden give a speech is like watching a baby play Jenga. You know, at some point, everything is going to fall apart. See, 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 Miss Scusi. I don't think that means up. The Miss Scusi says that while <gasps> Miss Scusi put these on. Miss Scusi. Got it, no problem. I'm going to do that. The EPA says that while the soup will be devastating to the local environment, it's oh so savory, just like mom used to make. Miss Scusi. Boy, I miss that home cooking. Yeah, no problem. Ew. This is a totally normal thing that tailors do. The seven best things my parents cooked for me when I was a kid were... M Miss Scusi. In the backpack? <gasps> Absolutely. Because little boys carry backpacks to school full of bricks, and that has everything to do with tailoring. The best things my parents cooked for me when I was a kid were spaghetti and, oh, that's so heavy. That is unbelievably heavy. Garlic bread, do it fast or more bricks are coming. <laughs> uh, shepherd's pie, uh, we had a nice taco night. Uh, a beef stew. Miss Scusi. Oh, oh my God. Uh, my mom made a great lemon poppy seed tea cake. One time she tried to make a bloomin' onion like the type from Chili's, and uh, it worked out remarkably well, but we never did it again. No problem. Um, oh, okay. And uh, uh, finally- Miss Scusi, Miss Scusi. Sit down wearing all of this. Miss Scusi. <laughs> you could have learned one more <laughs> phrase in Italian. See. Si. <laughs> and finally, Cereal. It's a shame to see it happen to our fair city. I love it here. If you ever, if you ever get Miss the chance Scusi. to spend a weekend in Seattle, here's how to do it my way. Miss Scusi. My ideal weekend in Seattle starts with an early morning walk around the seaport. Miss Scusi. Then getting a nice coffee. Mm. Oh, Miss Scusi, Miss <laughs> yep, Scusi. Yep, you're scusi um, Followed by, I don't know anything about Seattle. Miss Scusi. Looking at that pointy building and then some mm. chowder? Sure. Do they do chowder It's there? a coastal town, I bet there's chowder. All right, let's do chowder and then seafood and then, I don't know, a show, a musical show. Miss Scusi, yep. Miss Scusi. Yep. yep. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are Thank calling. You. We'll now go to Mary's Sugar Shirt with weather. Mary, how are we looking this weekend? It's gonna be a scorcher, Clifford. Believe it or not, it's because of increased solar flare activity. I'm something of an astronomy buff myself. Oh, me too. Uh, would you like to answer some astronomy trivia? Oh, yes, please. Great. My tailor is an astronomy buff too. Miss Scusi. For every question you get wrong, he's going to hand you a very heavy book that you won't be allowed to put down. Amazing. Miss Scusi. Now, what is the only spacecraft ever to visit Uranus? 
D discovery. The correct answer oh, is man, Voyager. Is so sorry. How many planets can be seen with the naked eye from Earth? Three. Man, scusi. The answer is in fact five, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. <laughs> That's one more book for you. Which planets in the solar system have no moons? Uh, uh, <laughs> Me scusi. The answer is not <laughs> nothing. It is in fact Mercury and Venus. I'm so sorry. I hate to interrupt, but wouldn't this be more effective if your tailor handed Mary three heavy books for every wrong answer? You know something, you're right. What are the four largest moons of Jupiter? Europa? Io and uh, that's it. That's the two of them. May scusi. Remarkably good answer. They are Europa, Ganymede, Callisto, and Lo. What planet is known as the evening star? Venus, it's Venus! The great answer is in fact Venus! Oh. Way to go! You disappointed my tailor. And on the subject of Venus, take 30 seconds and describe in detail NASA's plans for an upcoming visit to Venus. As far as I know, there are no plans to visit Venus. Uh, the space is now the purview of billionaires. No idea if you're right about that, so why don't you hold on to the rest of those books? Man, scusi. Anyway. Perfect. <laughs> Finally tonight, we'll go to Ryan Beans with sports. And Ryan, you're more in need of a new suit than any of us, so Luigi is going to do his special measurements for you. May <laughs> school Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> this might be my last day working at college. <laughs> well, the college football season is heating up. <laughs> is that a mistake? After a national title last year, can Alabama reclaim the crown? It's something of a rebuilding year in Tuscaloosa as the Tide lost many of their superstars to the NFL draft. Over in the ACC, Clemson continues its dominance over the league. Coach Dabo Swinney is running roughshod over his competitors, but if Notre Dame finally joins the way, they've been threatening to, the Tigers could have some competition. The best preseason quarterback is no doubt Oklahoma, Oklahoma Spencer Rattler after a Ooh, it's different settings. After a slow start last year, he led the Sooners to an absolutely dominant back half of the season in the Big 12 last year. He is this year's prohibitive favorite for the Heisman Trophy. Finally, the Big 10 is trying to recover. <laughs> what does it have to do with tailoring? The Big Ten is trying to recover after a down year in which some legacy programs suffered their worst losses in quite some time. Sources say that Penn State coach James Franklin has a foot out the door, making him one of a number of coaches hanging on by a th <laughs> hanging on by a thread in the east. Unless we forget, the Pac-12 remains terrible. Back to you in the studio. Damn it! Thanks, Ryan. That's it for us. But before we go, we'll tell you that tonight's loser is Erica. As punishment, they have to accept this $50 gift card to the Macy's Men's Store for new suiting. Because sometimes things can be nice. Me scusi. I could have used a new suit. <laughs>